Shalom everyone, Chodesh Tov, a happy new month to everyone. This week's portion has some interesting deep Kabbalah, some of which I'd like to share with you from the Arizal. When Jacob finally comes down into Egypt and he meets Pharaoh, Pharaoh asked him, how has he been? And Jacob says the days of his life have been very burdensome, very terrible. So what, what is he referring to? We know he had a hard life, but the Kabbalah tells us a lot deeper stuff. And to understand, we have to go all the way back to Adam. See, when Adam ate from the tree of knowledge and good and evil, the Arizal teaches that he committed, in a sense, the three cardinal sins. First, he denied God's providence over the world by eating, doing the one thing that he wasn't supposed to do. It was akin to idolatry. This was something that Abraham did a fixing for. How? By destroying the idols of his father Terah. The next thing that Adam had done was he introduced death into the world. This was rectified by Isaac, who was willing to give his life, and as a result did a fixing on the introduction of death to the world. Finally, it is taught that he did the, sec the sin of sexual licentiousness, meaning that after he ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil in a form of attempting to do repentance he separated from his wife Eve for 130 years and during those 130 years as a result of fantasies and imaginations uh, he wasted his seed and so Jacob lived 130 years of, of torment of pain why to do a fixing for the 130 years that Adam was separate from Eve and wasted his seed finally though Jacob did descend into Egypt, and there he lived 17 more years, these 17 years being good. In fact, the gematria of 17 is in fact the word tov, good.